All right, I'm live. Um, I guess I'm not going to bother. I want you to see this platform. Small workshop guy here. Uh, this is a YouTube live presentation. It'll be available later for others. I wanted to talk about my uh, bench top platform and why you would want one of these. You raise you you often want to raise your work up for comfort. Maybe you're doing something and your workbench is at a height that it's not really comfortable for certain operations, or you've built what you consider to be an heirloom quality workbench and you want to protect that puppy. So you're going to do some work that might involve some digging in, some sawing, and you really don't want to get anywhere near your quality workbench. So the way this works is it uses, um, it's just a raised platform, and there's a lot of advantages to that when I want to maybe uh, do some chiseling or I want to uh, do different things. It starts with the foundation of using from Lee Valley Hardware these called bench saddles. These are just little uh, devices that will go into dog holes. Uh, they have a dog hole extension on them and then they've been, de been designed to hold two by fours. So what I did to build this was I simply put four of these in my uh, table and then I cut some two by fours to uh, fit those. Let me get this back down here. Cut some two by fours and put them in those bench saddles and then just put a piece of plywood, in this case half inch, uh, certainly not Baltic Burt, but half inch plywood on top of those, trying to get it square and then just drilled and put some screws down into the two by four. So now I got the uh, bench saddles, the two by fours, and then the platform on top of it. Then I put a whole bunch of match fit dovetail clamp grooves across this in various ways. So again, you can see how I've got that crisscross with all of those match fit grooves. Let me get this back down again. Where I want to to hold something down. I use this more than anything when I want to have a workpiece that I'm going to maybe work on a uh, jigsaw. And I don't want to clamp something to my real workbench and then have my jigsaw accidentally make contact with my workbench. So I need a raised surface so that the jigsaw blade can go, uh, you know, underneath without hitting my workbench. I've said that a lot of times. Now, they're going to be the problem with going live is uh, where you used to edit this stuff out. Now you got to live with it. But that's all right. I'm not going to edit video. So, so now I can do uh, some work with a um, I guess <laughs> you don't have a dead battery. <laughs> I hope that's the cause here. Let's try another battery. There you go. Keeping your battery charged is a good idea. So you can see I've got the blade down below. So I can do stuff with my jigsaw. I can also uh, maybe drill. And i got room there. So a lot of different uses. For me, it's a question of sometimes wanting to have something higher, wanting to have a secured. Maybe I want to do some bench planning and I want to be a little bit higher. So if you build one of these, here's the way it works. If you build it, they will come. What I mean by that is if you build it, you will end up finding a lot of different times when you want to use it. I particularly like having the match fit dovetail grooves in there as well. Now I've got some dog holes in here. And so I could do things like have this uh, Veritas uh, little bar that allows me to have almost zero profile when I want to do some planing or something. So if I uh, wanted to plane this board, 
Get out of there. If I want to plan a board, I can shove it up against that and then uh, plane away. I don't think I've got this laid down, but I'll demo. And so, again, maybe I want this height. Maybe I'm going to do a lot of planing, and I don't want to be bending over too far. So uh, that's an advantage. Perhaps what I want to do is some chiseling. And I don't want... I want a sacrificial thing down below. I'm not, I don't mind digging into this. I'm going to dig it up like crazy. I'm not going to worry about protecting it because I can just slap on another one uh, when this one gets too dinged up. So uh, I recommend you build one of these. Now you say, where am I going to put it? Well, here's what I do. Let me, let me show you one more thing that I forgot. When it comes to doing dog holes, I have a recommendation for you, whether they're your real dog holes on your workbench that you finally got done, or whether they're dog holes for something like this. I have this uh, three-quarter inch auger bit, and it's got the um, serrated or the grooved little tip on here. What happens is that, that catches and digs in if you're a beginner and you haven't seen these before that digs in and actually pulls the drill down for you. So here, let's say I'm gonna, I want a hole here. If I just put that where I want it, and I, in this case, I'm going I don't care about the 90 degrees. Uh, I'm gonna try to get it to 90 degrees, but this is only a half inch wide. My variance there won't matter much. Now, when I'm working on my real workbench, what I did was I got a nice thick piece of uh, eight quarter, a redwood block and I went over to my drill press and I made sure I had a nice straight guide hole and then I clamped that that block to my workbench and then I felt comfortable when I put this into that guide block that I had the 90 degrees that I wanted and it worked like a charm and it worked so easy I mean let me demonstrate if you just turn this on slowly you don't you probably need a pretty powerful because this is a large uh, this is a large collet that's required here for this bit. It's not going to fit in your normal little hand drills. So just don't press down. Let it pull down by itself, and it will stop when this is poked through. See, it stopped pulling down. So then I don't. I'm not going to get tear out. On the underside, I can then just turn this over and use a, a different bit to kind of just clean out that little bitty piece that's left. And I know exactly where it is because there's a hole right in the middle of this. So that's uh, something maybe to get for your uh, your dog holes in your bench when you get one done. This is called the Wood Owl, O-W-L, Wood Owl Ultra Smooth Auger, three-quarter inch recommendation. All right, build yourself one of these. I think you'll like it and uh, enjoy it and protect your heirloom quality workbench. Small Workshop Guy, signing off.